hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my knotless box sprays I recently uploaded a knotless box sprays video but it wasn't a voiceover it was more of a visual and I kind of want to give you guys a voiceover just so I can explain exactly what I do so first I like to start out by parting the hair from one side of the head to the other side of the head and then once I do that I like to go within that section and kind of map out how many braids are going to be in that section just so I can make sure everything is parted neatly and the subsections that I'm going to be doing are going to be around the same size. So next I like to take that subsection and divide it up into three pieces and these are going to be the three pieces that I'm going to be braiding with. I like to start out with my right hand crossing over and grasping the piece furthest to my left and I do this with every single braid. Then I'm going to cross the hair over into my left, back over into my right. Then I'm going to cross it back over into my left again. This is where I'm going to add a piece of hair. And in order for the roots to not be too bulky, make sure you don't add too much hair, but just enough. So once I cross the hair back over in my right and then again back over to my left, I'm going to add additional hair. And I'm going to repeat this process until I get the thickness of the braid that I desire. And you can also see that I have some product on my hand. I like to keep product on my hand or very close by just to keep everything neat. So I'll add product throughout the braid wherever I feel is needed. You also want to make sure that you're using some type of pomade or edge control um, just to make sure that the hair is neat. And I like to use the shining jam, which is the same jam that I always use in all of my braid videos. So I'm going to go ahead and part the hair off. Then I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair into three sections. And again, I'm going to start with that right hand, grasping the piece furthest to my left. Switching the hair back over to my left hand. Making sure everything is lying neatly. Crossing the hair back over to my right, then again back over to my left. Then here, I'm going to add a piece of hair. Adding hair to your knotless braids is very similar to adding hair when you're doing feed-in braids. So if you know how to do feed-in braids, then knotless braids shouldn't be too complicated for you. Um, I know the complicated part for me when I was learning how to do the knotless braids, where well, I already knew how to do them, but it wasn't as neat as they are now. I had a hard time figuring out how I wanted to grip the roots in order to make the hair appear neat and flat. And the best recommendation that I can give that I have learned is to start out with braiding the client's hair down um, once or twice before you begin to braid the hair. Because I know before I was adding hair from the start, even though I was adding it underneath the hair, I was adding hair from the start and it kind of made the roots a little bit more bulky and less neat. So once I figured out that I needed to braid the hair, the client's hair down a couple of times before I added the hair, it made a world of a difference with my results. So I also left this video in regular speed just so you guys can see what is being done in real time versus me speeding the video up. So I hope you guys can really appreciate the real time-ness of this video and how long it is. Like I said, I just wanted to let you guys see exactly what is being done. 
in real time versus me speeding the clips up to save time. So I think this is the last clip that actually is one more clip that's going to be in real time. Um, and then you guys can see the results. Let me know which method you guys prefer. Do you guys like the regular box sprays or you, do you prefer the knotless box sprays? Me personally, I like the knotless box sprays just because it's less tension on the hair versus the regular box sprays. And me, I'm all about protective styling. So if I, doesn't feel, if I don't feel like it's protecting my hair or um, it's a lot of stress on my hair, I don't do it. So I actually have not got the... So I actually have not gotten the regular box sprays in a very, very long time. Um, I want to try the knotless braids though. I have done them on myself, but it wasn't like um, these results at all. So I want to do these eventually, but I just gotta find somebody to do them that I trust with my hair. So if you have any recommendations in Atlanta area, then definitely leave those down below as well. I know that a lot of people say that, or I've heard some people say that the regular box braids last longer than the knotless braids for them. And I don't know. I mean, I know with the knotless braids, you won't have to worry about the knot on the braids sliding down. Cause I know with like regular box braids around the perimeter, the hair or the yeah, the extension hair tends to slide down the your natural hair a little bit because that hair is thinner. So that you won't have to worry about with the knotless braids. And the knotless braids are a lot less tension on your hair as well. As soon as I'm done doing my client's hair, my clients are able to flip their hair back and forth, up and down, ponytail, and all of those types of styles as soon as I'm done with their braids without it hurting or pulling on their roots. That I cannot say the same for with the regular box braids. You definitely do not want to pull those up in a ponytail for at least a week in order for the hair to loosen up a little bit. So that is the reason why I would prefer the knotless braids just because I know that it's definitely less tension on your roots. And we are all done. These are my results. Everything should be neat and flat. And like I said, I'm able to move my client's hair without it being harsh on their head or their scalp hurting from the braids being so tight. See, I'm able to flip them over, do whatever, and she is not flinching one bit. Pull them up in a ponytail. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you'll be notified when I post more uploads. And I will talk to you guys in a later video. Bye.